there. This is Tracy M. I'm going to be your instructor for this semester. It's a 15-week course in the graduate program called Communications Campaigns. And I wanted to upload this video to give you a little bit of background about myself and about the course and what you can expect over the coming 15 weeks. The class will run from today until May the 6th when your final project is due. And I'm going to upload a bunch of documents to Joule. And one of the things I'm going to do is, since this is a 100% online course, I'm going to upload videos once a week to introduce the topic for the week, hopefully answer any questions that may have come in from the class. We have about 12 people that have signed up for the course. And I'm really excited about what we're going to learn this semester. The class, um, the curriculum that was put together in the past didn't really incorporate a lot of the social media and new trends that are occurring. And so I've redone the curriculum um, for this semester, but basically it's gonna be around how to develop successful campaigns. And we're gonna look at a lot of different aspects of campaigns. We're gonna do a lot of case studies of campaigns and ultimately your goal at the end is to have put together a campaign that can be executed and implemented. So my name is Tracy M. I'm going to be your professor. This is the fifth year that I've taught at Notre Dame in both the graduate and the undergraduate program. I also teach at McDaniel and my goal really is to teach you best practices from my corporate experience. I've been in the corporate world about 25 years. 12 of which have been in the marketing and communications field. And so I have worked in a number of industries where I've learned how to plan and execute and measure campaigns. And so I'd like to bring that to you this semester. I've worked in financial services. I've worked in aerospace and defense. I've worked in healthcare IT consulting. I've worked in the energy sector. I've worked in the equipment leasing sector. And I've also worked in the senior housing sector most recently. And so I'm going to bring some of the best practices that I've seen done in those different sectors primarily in a B2C environment, but also B2B and B2G, which would be business to government. And what you're gonna be asked to do is buy the book, The New Rules of Marketing and PR. This is actually the fourth edition and I'm recommending you buy the fifth edition, which you can also buy just um, off of Amazon, uh, the Kindle version, which you can download to your phone or to your Kindle and you can read. And so, what I'd like to do is go over with you in this video what the course is going to be about, how we're going to function, and basically what's expected throughout the semester. And so we're going to break it down with each module or week starting on a Sunday, going to Saturday. And so you'll have a whole week to complete the assignment. And because this is an online course, we won't be meeting in person. But I do want to offer up an optional um, element, which is up to you. But there's a new technology out there called Zoom. And Zoom is its a lot like Skype, but you can have multiple people in an online forum where you can see each other and you can have conversations. And so I'm going to offer that up as a Tuesday night, 7 o'clock. Jump on Zoom if you're available, if you have questions, or you just want to interact with the other people that are in the class. We have about 12 people. Um, and I also want to mention that um, the best way to reach me is through my Comcast email. I do have a Notre Dame email, but reach me through Comcast. I'll give you my cell phone as well. And you can text me. Just let me know you're a, a student in my class if you have any questions. But um, if you do need special accommodations throughout the semester, just let me know. I'm, I'm more than happy to accommodate whatever those um, accommodations are. But, but basically, you're expected to go in every week do your assignments, and I'll go through that um, in a few minutes around what those assignments are. The bulk of your grade is gonna be this final project, this final campaign that you're gonna to put together. So today is the first day of class. I um, want you to watch this video. Like I said, I'll put up videos throughout the semester, throughout the week, um, or, or, or each Sunday, so that you can watch a video about what to expect for that week. We're gonna do deep dives into specific elements, the readings in the book and the readings that I'll put out there um, are really to augment and to give you some context around things to think about when you're working on your campaigns. And so 
Um, this week, if you could just download the syllabus, print it out, see kind of how things are structured. I'm going to have a discussion board question out there. I really want to know why you picked this class as an elective, what your experience is, kind of what you're hoping to get out of this so that I can deliver that to you. Um, buy the textbook. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it at the bookstore. Um, and then really this first week, just read the introduction to the book and the first chapter. One of the other things that I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the Joule system PowerPoint slides that summarize the findings from that chapter so that you can also use that to augment your reading and to understand um, sort of the key concepts that the author is trying to get across. Um, and then on these videos, I'm going to really cover specific subjects that I think are important or things that you need to think about as you're developing your campaign. So we'll go week by week. Um, we do have a spring break um, the week of March 21st to the 28th. And so we'll start, we'll skip that week. We'll start back up on Tuesday, March 29th. And then we will run all the way until the week of May the 1st. And your final project will be due on May the 6th. Um, and that'll be a PowerPoint presentation. But we're going to go through everything from research to identifying your ideal um, client or avatar. We're going to talk about um, things like podcast and imagery and social media platforms and blogs and how to interact with reporters to pitch your story and, and really choosing the right tactics and the timing that you're going to use in your campaign um, and, and in, the, in some of the case studies that are in the book, um, it will be major brands um, that have done things well, not done things well, things that have worked, things that have not worked, um, just to give you some context of sort of the environment that you're working in now as you develop campaigns um, with a lot of different stakeholders trying to find the right tactic or the right platform to put your message out there, making sure your message is really going to resonate with um, your ideal client and your audience. One of the new features in the book this time is um, they've added some integration of um, how communications and marketing integrates with sales and how important it is that your campaigns really, if you have a call to action or you, you need to have a call to action that is going to drive that person into your sales funny, funnel and then ultimately buy your product, vote for your candidate, whatever it is that you're trying to do in your outcomes and really how those two really fit together. And so I think that's a good add to this. Um, and then as we look at um, the strategic plans that organizations have and how multiple campaigns may be running at one time, that will also be really, really important. And so um, I'm hoping that over the 15 weeks it will be a build each week and you'll do a deep dive into each element of effective campaign planning and execution and really measurement, knowing that your campaign hit the mark, what you would have tweaked, what you would have done different um, in your campaign. And so I look forward to every week dishing out a little bit of new information, maybe changing your perspective on how you would have thought about going about it, and really helping you create a template that you can follow that's a repeatable process and scalable as you move from industry to industry, company to company, campaign to campaign, um, that you really kind of um, get, it, get things going in a way that makes the most sense um, and really can drive action. Um, with your consumers, with your clients. Um, and so I think that um, by breaking it down into these simple elements um, and recognizing that you all are probably working, you have families, I want to make this useful. I want to make it helpful. I want you to learn and grow throughout the semester um, in your ability to lead planning and execution and measurement of your campaigns um, for the organization. So start to think about um, either something that you're doing at work that would benefit from this structured approach or if there's something that you're doing on the side or a business that you may have or um, some consulting that you may be doing um, so that you can then put this framework together really that then you can use throughout your career as a marketing and communications professional. So congratulations. I look forward to working with you uh, through March and April and May as well as February. 
to really get the most that you can out of this three credit course in the graduate program as a communications professional. And so I look forward to hearing from you, seeing your discussions on the uh, discussion board. And like I said, I'll put these videos up. They'll be short. Um, they'll just explain to you what I'm expecting for the week, get you going. Um, and then by Saturday, hopefully you'll have enough time to complete all of the assignments and then we'll roll into the next week. And so each week you'll be building your campaign, you'll be putting that to pro final project together. And so you'll be able to look back and see how much you've, you've learned, you've grown, you've developed over the semester. So with that, I say welcome, congratulations, and I look forward to working with you. Thanks.